Hi everyone, and welcome to one of my talks. And today I am very happy and excited to be here. And I decided to call this presentation starting uh, Apache P6 on the right foot uh, because we know that in some uh, countries, cultures, even in religious, uh, people believe that if they start doing something on the right hand or on the right foot, they can achieve immediately success. So my idea also today, after you attend this session, you will be immediately successful with uh, uh, Apache API 6 on getting started. Or if you are already aware of API 6, uh, you know uh, extra some nifty features that I'm going to show you. So with that plan, let's get started. Firstly, let me introduce uh, myself. My name is Babur. I'm also Apache API 6 uh, contributor and uh, I, I have been working uh, several years as a software engineering trainer at one of the famous uh, top uh, software development academy in EU and uh, nowadays also I'm uh, working as a developer advocate uh, for Apache API 6 and uh, sometimes I'm helping uh, students uh, to get a job after they are graduating and also uh, I have some students even uh, in my list they, who uh, would like to change their career path from something else to software engineering. For more information, of course, uh, please feel free to reach out to me and I am leaving out here all the necessary links uh, like LinkedIn and you can also find me on GitHub. So today uh, we are uh, going to talk about uh, uh, we talk about Apache API 6 and uh, I'm going to show you some of the nifty features that can be helpful for your information system to cope with uh, all cope with, with all the challenges that API introduced in the, our modern world. We will talk about first uh, uh, about what's the Apache API 6 and then uh, we'll go through the, uh, some ba uh, API gateway basics like routing, uh, upstreams uh, and uh, how to route, let's say, your request to the correct upstream and uh, we'll learn how to configure API 6 on the dashboard uh, or on from the other side how, uh, let's say, talk to admin API in API 6 by uh, running command line uh, uh, commands that can be used by using curl and uh, I will show you how you can observe your APIs with the help of uh, Apache API 6 API Gateway and the uh, last two things uh, I'm going to show uh, what is low code to plugin orchestration uh, and API Gateway and how you can write your own custom plugin by using any favorite programming language you know uh, for uh, you can create a plugin for API Gateway API is just uh, three letters, acronym for Application Programming Interface. And uh, uh, by now we are all familiar with the term because we are living in a fully, increasingly API-centric world. And uh, every service we use today either uses an API or it's an API itself. And uh, uh, APIs are essential in building, delivering of your services. And we know that the uh, success of your APIs depends on the integrity, availability and performance of your APIs. So here is one question. And how can we achieve all of these in this indicators of success for your APIs easily? The answer is by using API Gateway. If you don't know what is API Gateway, don't worry, we are going to cover also in this session. API Gateway is essential component of an API management solution. Uh, it serves as a central point for routing all incoming requests to the uh, intended destinations. In other words, it acts as a thin layer between your user clients and the backend services uh, that can be like upstream API server or third party service, database, even uh, serverless. Uh, and uh, this API gateway uh, it also, also further extends that uh, with uh, countless built in plugins uh, to handle uh, like a, a 
traffic control, uh, authentication, observability, and security concerns. API Gateway can also be a central point uh, for observation as well, since uh, it is uniquely qualified to know uh, all the uh, traffic between uh, uh, your clients and uh, service networks uh, instead of spending time integrating your services uh, with other many, uh, other many APIs and uh, technologies to improve observability you can easily manage all the work with the uh, help of API Gateway let's say like Apache API 6 Nowadays uh, Apache API 6 is one of the fastest uh, top uh, growing project of Apache Software Foundation. You may think of like Apache Kafka, uh, Cassandra, Hadoop, Tomcat and so on. Uh, you may already know uh, even uh, the world's largest open source uh, foundation, ESF, right? Or some of you, you are already part of this uh, community. And uh, the role of Apache API 6 uh, in building a large-scale uh, cloud-native uh, microservice API is very considerable uh, since it provides service traffic management features, uh, it is uh, lightweight, fast and very easy to configure and very quick to deploy on your production, let's say. Uh, and uh, as you can see, API Gateway will introduce all these mentioned concerns uh, by allowing your development work focus on the business task, let, let's say on the core business task at your hand and uh, you, a wide variety of uh, companies, organizations already using API 6 for research, production uh, or let's say for commercial products like uh, Tencent Games, Swisscom, even NASA and etc. Firstly, uh, we can talk about the plugins. And plugins just uh, additional component that can be plugged into your API gateway, uh, and they are very hard mechanism. When using API 6, uh, you must be faced with multiple types of plugins. Uh, currently, there are 50 built-in plugins uh, breaking down into several categories, as you can see and uh, they are served for to meet all the common usage uh, scenarios uh, that our clients have to handle uh, many uh, cross uh, cross centric uh, concerns uh, like as i listed earlier also security traffic control and uh, and so on and during the technological selection uh, the most important consideration i think uh, for the development team whether a chosen technological stack matches uh, uh, their product or, or not or we can think of it or vice versa like uh, they choose the technological stack uh, based on the product uh, how what they would like to build uh, and uh, Apache API 6 uh, has been supporting customized plugins uh, since the day uh, it was born. Uh, when you, with the Apache API 6, uh, you can uh, write custom plugins in uh, your favorite programming language, uh, which is familiar uh, with. Let's say you can use Java, uh, Go, uh, JavaScript, Python. Uh, for for this uh, purpose, API 6 offers uh, some uh, plugin runners. Uh, you can check it out on our website. And most of our plugins uh, were uh, let's say written in the programming language Lua. Another the cool features of uh, Apache API 6 and uh, it provides uh, user friendly uh, UI dashboard. I think it is uh, one of the first API gateway uh, from open source uh, which has this uh, dashboard uh, and uh, as you can see the API 6 dashboard uh, lists uh, currently uh, available plugins uh, on the left side uh, we call it available plugins list and on the right side a drawing board uh, we can drag and drop the plugins onto the drawing board and we can define some conditions, uh, orchestrate them and then the whole process is completed. By doing this, you can 
uh, combine the multiple plugins and create your own plugin uh, uh, even you can just uh, export this plugins configuration as uh, JSON format so later on uh, you can automate this uh, plugins creation order even uh, usage uh, in the production or in your uh, environment and now with uh, enough uh, you know, knowledge certain knowledge uh, around api 6 we can uh, jump into demo session i'm uh, going to demo some of the basic features api 6 providers and then from there we can uh, try to use some of the uh, let's say uh, offered uh, functional functions uh, by apache api 6 now i am on api 6 uh, demo session github page uh, that i have prepared uh, before the presentation here you can find the many things uh, we are not going to cover all the stuff here but we'll start uh, to let's say create talk about uh, some basics uh, concepts at api 6 uh, uh, before you start with API 6 you need this knowledge and uh, we're gonna also uh, we'll talk about uh, how to create a route and uh, create the upstream and how to bound, uh, bind them this upstream and the route together etc and uh, so before we get start uh, there are some prerequisites uh, you need to uh, you need to install the docker uh, or let's say docker desktop on your machine and uh, because we are going to use docker compose uh, to bring apache api 6 uh, uh, with all necessary components uh, with uh, all these containers together let's say uh, api 6 uh, uses etcd for example as uh, for data configuration and uh, for persisting this admin uh, configs uh, also uh, some other components like prometheus uh, or grafana dashboard uh, or the or ui dashboard all this stuff comes with docker compose and we also use uh, curl commands uh, for our api testings uh, you can also use some other tools uh, such as postman insomnia etc and the next that uh, we need to uh, install the apache api 6 on my machine it's already installed it's uh, very straightforward you can just clone uh, my uh, repository uh, the prepared for this demo and uh, you can just uh, run a docker com uh, docker compost command to install apache api 6 uh, once uh, this download is completed, you can try to execute the uh, following command to check if uh, Apache API 6 successfully started. And based on return data, we can identify this. Uh, as you can see, in my case, uh, I'm using Windows operating system and uh, Docker desktop installed on it. And I have a running container Docker API 6 with all the other services uh, such as uh, API 6 uh, the main component uh, admin API where uh, we uh, send all our requests to uh, configure route and uh, to configure uh, upstreams and other objects and uh, we also the dashboard you can also see uh, up and running so uh, and uh, once uh, everything is ready i can uh, jump into my terminal and start to test uh, by executing this uh, curl command if api 6 is responding uh, here is my terminal i will just uh, copy this uh, curl command and pass it to here uh, to say that uh, i am accessing uh, admin api uh, services uh, and i'm sending also 
uh, the API key because every request uh, you do against uh, Apache PS admin API it should be very secure and uh, we always send in the header API key and this API key is just default API key when you first time install uh, Apache PS if it's Docker Compose but you can always update this API key and uh, regularly also uh, let's say uh, uh, change the version uh, if I uh, press and run this command, uh, now API server, classic server is responding OK, and uh, we don't have any uh, servers by now uh, that we are going to create soon. Next, uh, let's talk about uh, some uh, concepts uh, as we uh, already started with this uh, presentation, let's say. Uh, three things uh, you need to know uh, before you use uh, API 6 let's say the first thing is route of course it's the most critical concept uh, in many uh, API gateways uh, it's responsible for uh, see, uh, keeping some set of rules and to how to forward your traffic to the correct upstream and upstream in our case uh, can be a cluster of uh, your backend services or we call it node, right? One node can have many backend services. And the third one is plugins. Uh, plugins just adds additional uh, logic uh, to your API gateway to your uh, to manage uh, traffic uh, for different, uh, let's say, uh, scenarios. Uh, this is done and uh, now uh, we can create our false the route uh, it's uh, very straightforward Apache 6 provides a route object for that and uh, uh, following command uh, actually uh, initiate this false route let's break down this uh, curl command uh, what does it mean each uh, this curl command here as you can see I'm again uh, uh, trying to uh, access admin API uh, to make uh, some configuration on the routes objects everything handled um, uh, through the REST API and I am sending also API key together uh, and also uh, I saying uh, uh, and, and saying the methods uh, and defining some let's say or the logic how a route should handle our calls let's say and every uh, here for example is defining HTTP method uh, uh, for uh, matching uh, our routes only get uh, methods HTTP methods accepted and uh, and the host and we are saying example.com any host matching is example.com uh, with this URA uh, uh, for this route will be uh, redirected or will be uh, the request to this upstream uh, every request coming to example.com slash anything will be forwarded to this upstream in our case uh, we have upstream uh, we are here setting uh, just uh, mock stbpin.org it's just the mock server so that's able to uh, respond to your requests uh, but uh, in reality you can use uh, real your backend service we do have only one node of uh, let's say with uh, one backend service and here you can also you see uh, we are uh, showing the what kind of algorithm uh, we are using to balance a lot across these uh, backend service in our case here we are using single upstream and uh, we can use of course any algorithm so let's uh, create our first uh, route I can just copy uh, this command and come back to my terminal and here to put uh, this uh, route configuration and press enter and now API 6 saying ok we are uh, good to go and uh, uh, force route is uh, successfully created next step uh, in Apache API 6 we can, can do uh, creating an upstream separately in above uh, scenario we created upstream together with route but uh, we can also uh, create the upstream uh, separately that can be used by multiple routes right 
and uh, let's see the command what kind of command we can uh, run uh, to create a route mm, it's just a straightforward but the, uh, the endpoint we are going to use not a slash route in this case a slash upstreams I will uh, copy this command and pass to my terminal to say uh, the API 6 that I'm going to create upstream here we go now our upstream successfully uh, generated and the next step is uh, once we have a route and one and uh, the upstream uh, we need to map them together uh, let's see the command how to do uh, now here in this command I'm, we are saying we need uh, with this set with this rule any request to slash get pass will be uh, forwarded to this upstream and we are specifying upstream with upstream id uh, in the previous step uh, we created upstream uh, with this unique id here as you can see and that can be any id but in our case we have only one upstream that's why uh, as a first uh, number uh, one we are using as referencing to upstream by upstream id uh, let's copy this command and uh, pass it to terminal and press enter uh, so here we go now uh, we created uh, our road and we reference it uh, to our upstream and uh, next thing is validating let's try to validate if uh, we uh, our created road and upstream and we, uh, how they are working together uh, to do so, let's say we can try to uh, fetch uh, slash get pass with any random query parameters uh, and the expected response should come from http bin.org since we are uh, redirecting the request to this mock server, right? Let's jump into terminal and run again this command. Here we go. Now, as you can see, we get HTTP 200 OK, which means uh, API Gateway was able to redirect our requests to HTTP pin org, and HTTP pin org is responding uh, with just random uh, HTTP status. In our case, is success. So it's all about uh, basics. Up to now, we created the route upstream and we bind them together next uh, let's see how we can achieve similar steps with api6 dashboard without uh, running any curl command uh, by using uh, this uh, local dashboard apache api6 uh, dashboard is uh, running on the address uh, localhost 900 if you uh, go to this link uh, you can see the dash dashboard uh, up and running uh, to log in you can use uh, admin as a username and a password as an admin by default but you can also change this default behavior from the api6 configuration and as you can see uh, the dashboard shows uh, the route if you navigate the route in the navigation bar on the left side it, uh, in the route list we can see the route we created previously uh, with the curl command uh, and with a single route the ne next if you navigate to upstream uh, likewise the dashboard displays our simple upstream uh, we created also in the earlier step uh, up to now, uh, this uh, our road uh, we have created is fully public. Thus, anyone can access underlying upstream as long as they know the endpoint Apache API 6 uh, exposed to the outside world. Uh, it's not safe, uh, and uh, any malicious actor could use uh, this endpoint uh, to, and for this reason we are going to add authentication uh, to our existing route uh, to do so we'll, uh, we, should have, we, should, we need to enable key authentication plugin for the route 
there are lots of uh, authentication plugins of course so we are going to use for this demo only the basic one uh, let's say you can use JWTT uh, authentication or uh, OpenID Connect uh, for advanced uh, scenarios uh, let's enable Kios plugin uh, for our route uh, you can navigate to route uh, and then uh, click uh, configure uh, you can just skip our uh, other uh, f first two steps like define API request, define API packet server sections uh, and open uh, plugin config in this section you can find uh, key else plugin and click enable uh, request role data you can keep as uh, empty and push toggle switch on then press submit to save your changes click next and after finish submit the, the form to update your route configuration uh, and second you can go to the consumer page from the, the same navigation bar click on create then give a user consumer name let's say example consumer and then click next uh, now we have uh, the consumer created and enabled the route uh, for the route uh, application plugin and next step we need to also enable key house plugin for this consumer to give uh, some credentials uh, for this consumer uh, and uh, uh, go to plugin session and uh, click enable and the same way uh, push the toggle switch on and then provide the key for the consumer let's say for John you can say uh, as a raw data so you can set the plugin uh, editor config like a key key of John uh, yeah and now click submit next next uh, now we should have a ready to use consumer now we can uh, control the data allowed to transit via the API gateway by adding on the top of that authentication uh, we are able to identify unique uh, customers that are accessing our APIs to prove it uh, we let's move back to the terminal and run uh, below kernel command let's say I will try to access the same uh, slash get uh, endpoint uh, but this time um, we should get uh, 401 unauthorized HTTP error uh, because we, do, uh, we didn't set authentication key and Apache API 6 uh, will return this error here we go and uh, we got the missing API key, key found the request we can try next uh, the same request with authentication key in the header in our case uh, key of John as authentication key uh, and vice versa we got successful access to the endpoint with the correct API key so uh, as you can see we showed how to use Apache API 6 uh, to uh, configure and secure publish your APIs uh, uh, shortly from the dashboard and uh, about other plugins usage uh, feel free to uh, continue with these uh, hands-on lab materials uh, you can try to uh, enable uh, other plugins like consumer restriction and limit count uh, and uh, many more uh, this uh, guide uh, explains you uh, uh, step by step how you can uh, enable these plugins and shows you some uh, real scenario usage of these plugins uh, here I am uh, leaving out all the necessary uh, references for you uh, feel free to check them out uh, our official website and look at the github, uh, GitHub report and try to and join our community on Slack or you can just subscribe to our mailing list. Uh, with, this, with that I'm going to finish my talk. Uh, thank you for your attention uh, and now we can jump into question sessions or online in the chat you can leave uh, your interested questions uh, and also you can sign up uh, on my Twitter and just follow me up. Thanks.